Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Stromberg and Carlson rotary desk telephone and this is Anna's telephone from Florida and basically uh, there has been some work done on this telephone but this is the initial checkout so we're going to kind of go through it a little bit and when this telephone came in it had a jack on the line cord so what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to install a modular plug adapter to this line cord and get rid of this jack so that will no longer be on the telephone when we finish up this was laying in the box which is pretty much a washer basically that goes between the body and the uh, actual base of the phone or the, the bottom of the phone so we'll get that back into place when we work on this telephone I'll give you a look at the handset And this is a really cool telephone. It's got a very nice original type dial center card in it. And uh, we're going to give you a still picture of that. We're going to go ahead. This telephone is open, so we're going to go ahead and give you a look at the inside of this telephone. Now there's a schematic tucked up underneath the uh, capacitor here. And... Anna took a uh, copy of that, and this is basically what that looks like. So that's a copy of the original schematic. And although we don't need that schematic, it's nice to have it just to take a look at you know how they did things back in the day. But uh, what we're going to do is this bell is actually the wrong frequency bell and I have it loose I want to take it out and this bell is never going to fly on a modern day phone line so what we're going to do is totally change the bell this is just the wrong bell and you cannot use it there is a few ways that you could uh, alter it or redesign it but we want to make sure that this telephone always rings for Anna so we are totally going to change the bell there's no sense in uh, just trying to uh, redesign the bell it just isn't going to work and I, I want to make sure it works all the time so there's just a lot of little issues that we have to take care of we also want to go through the rotary and make sure the rotary is proper and uh, oiled and adjusted in the hook switch and go through all the uh, connections but uh, it's a very cool telephone and these are very sought after and they have a uh, art deco style to them and people really like them and this one's in good shape so that's a plus so we're going to take a short break from the video now and I'm just going to be working towards getting this telephone repaired and uh, do the redesign of the bell and we'll do some more video of this telephone as soon as we finish up and uh, we'll do a final check so we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back okay we're back now and we are finished up with this telephone and we're going to kind of go through a little bit about what went on with this telephone we went ahead and went through the rotary oiled it cleaned it and adjusted it and made sure everything was working properly we went through the wiring and repaired any connections that we didn't like and checked them all we also replaced the bell because in the earlier part of the video we showed that bell was the wrong style bell and we needed to replace it so that we could uh, have a telephone that rings for Anna and so we also replaced the jack that was on the end of the line cord and this is a modular port adapter and so now Anna can simply walk up to any telephone jack and plug this telephone in and we'll go ahead and do that now and we want to do some of our final checks so we kind of went through a little bit of everything on this telephone and also replaced the uh, gasket that is between the uh, base and the body of the telephone and so we'll go ahead and ring the telephone now and we're going to let that go a few times 
because that was one of the issues. Let it go two more times. We'll go ahead and answer the telephone and give you some dial tone. And now what we want to do is we want to dial the telephone. So if you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers rack off. I'm going to end in a two. And now what we want to do is transmit into the handset. So if you watch this red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone has transmit, receive, it's dialing out and it's ringing now. What we can do is go ahead and move the telephone over to a regular line and we'll call a time and temp number. We want to give you some dial tone. And we want to dial a time and temp number. one other number we can dial my number and the tel the line will be busy give you some dial tone Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and is fully functional, we can return this telephone to Anna and she can start enjoying this telephone once again. It's a Stromberg and Carlson uh, and it's got the schematic inside. We showed you earlier that we had a schematic that Anna had printed off and we'll show you that once again. It's very cool to have that schematic. Not that we need it, but it's nice to have just for the simple fact that uh, it shows you the wiring diagram, basically. This is a very cool Art Deco style Stromberg and Carlson rotary desk telephone. And Anna is from Florida. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And you can also reach us at 618 235 6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.